Right, uh, <clears throat> morning boys and girls. As you know, I'm, um, I've removed the fuel tank uh, from the Wolseley and um, I'm uh, going to use um, a prep solution to uh, get the tank ready for this e E10 fuel. Now I bought this, um, I bought this POR15 from uh, Frost uh, Equipment. Um, I read all the data on it and everything and this apparently is one of the best ones that you can get. It's quite expensive, uh, it worked out at um, well 90 quid basically with the uh, free postage. So yeah, um, this is uh, what came in the box for the 90 quid. We've got, um, it looks like, um, well it's 32 fluid ounces, what's that, 2 litres or something like that, litre and a half. We've got the metal prep here. Uh, we've got cleaner and degreaser. There's two of those. This is the um, this is the kit for a 16 gallon tank. By the way, they do different sizes for a smaller tank, and obviously the fuel tank sealer. Now, uh, what apparently you do, you um, you mix this solution several times with uh, a certain amount of water, uh, and um, I think it um, it's one to one with water. And then you you uh, pour that into the tank first, and you let it uh, sit for an hour. Swill it around, move the tank into a different position for an hour. Uh, you know, generally coat all the tank with this cleaner and degreaser. It dissolves all of the uh, crud and um, maybe if there's some old fuel tank sealer or something inside there. So that sits in there. You you, you slosh it around, sit it for an hour, and you know you you get the you get the you get the idea. Uh, the next stage is this metal prep uh, and this removes all the rust, dissolves rust and any rust and you know those rusticles I mentioned to you around the filler neck, uh, it dissolves those and uh, you know generally preps all the metal up, it's, it's, it's probably a little some sort of an acid. Uh, now uh, you put that in the tank, you slosh it around uh, and obviously you leave it for an hour and then you move the tank, it's till all the tanks had a good coating of it you keep doing that until it comes out clear you, 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 you obviously keep installing it and sloshing it out and scooshing it about until the, the solution comes out clear then you know your tank is clean then you then you then this stuff is this is the proof the fuel proof uh, that, that um, this is the fuel proof for that, uh, that that seals your tank against the um, e10 fuel uh, and uh, seals any little pinholes or anything. Now my fuel tank is a good tank uh, because it's been inside the car so it hasn't suffered from any, any external uh, corrosion. Uh, there's just a few little bits of rust where the fuel hasn't, you know, where it's oxidised on the top of the tank. Uh, moisture's got in there and uh, there's a little bit of uh, surface rust inside the tank so all this will get that out. Now um, I'll give you an update when I've, uh, when I've You've got to let the tank thoroughly dry out first before you start prepping it. So what I'll do, I'll get the tank all ready uh, and, um, and then I'll, I'll just show you what we'll do as far as that. But uh, that'll be in a later video. But that's what we've got there. Uh, and personally, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a lot of money. But if it gives you peace of mind that your fuel tank is not going to corrode from the inside with this E10 fuel, uh, then um, that's it. So I think it's money well spent in the long run. Uh, as I say, so uh, thanks very much for watching.